Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Finding Kino. Chris here. So you can see here I got another video for you on Bakrat. So this is the start of a new shoe. So we're going to wait a, wait a few hands out. Now you can see here my balance is 523. So my goal is to win 10 units. I might play $1, maybe $2. I just like to win you know, 2 units or whatever my minimum bet is. As you see I got you know five hundred dollars so the rule is you know you can start divide it by 100 so i can't start with five dollars but i like to leave myself plenty of room so if i do have to make that sixth or seventh martingale you know i got room to do it so uh so the first uh hand is player so i just want to let it play a few hands to see what the shoe's doing I may do the last 300 dog, depending on what's going on. Or I'll just play uh, play houseway, you know, just follow the winner. But you know, we'll see what happens. So yeah, if you uh, come across my channel for the first time, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so uh, whenever I have uh, new videos coming out. So as of right now, I'm in uh, the Philippines, so I've been doing a lot of vlogging, just, just you know, stuff around Philippines I've done, just got back from Barakai. So uh, yeah, check those out. I have a playlist for Philippines if you like stuff, uh, you know, from abroad. So I have stuff like that. So uh, player has won two in a row, see what happens here. If it wins again, I'll have to play... Uh, player it's going on a streak here no it looks like a broke like banker one okay the underdog one there let's play a minimum bet of one just to keep from me, me getting booted so I started with uh, 523 since I'm starting with a dollar, let's see if I can make 10 units, make the 533. And now this video is, it's not about making money, it's about making the right decisions. And that's what I'm going to try to teach people as they watch, give an idea of what I'm doing. Let's see what happens here. Uh, seven. Need some help here? Bam. All right, we got our first win. So what happens here when it's a box uh, like this, usually it goes to the player. This is also the last 300 dog. Take the last three outcomes, and you just play the underdog, which, you know. But you also you'll notice when I play the last three favorite, if the favorite has been on a trend, then I'll play a banker. Last three favorite, the favorite is the player. I mean, the banker. But... It's the underdog so far, so let's do the underdog. Nope. Now here, when it goes on a three streak, it can go either way. It can keep going, it can break here. I probably should still play the underdog since that's what's that's what's been winning. But I'll set out here. It probably go player here. I've seen a lot of times it go player here, but it can banker can win here too. So that's if you're not sure what to play, yeah, just set out. Just set out one. See what happens. Alright, so since there's four in a row, let's go ahead and follow the uh let's follow the trend here one four in a row. See like I'm saying, it could go either way there. I I I'm probably I thought it was gonna go player, but it didn't. So I'm glad I set out.
They're looking good here. Need something low. Anything under a five. Five or low. If it draws a six or seven, the bank will take a hit. Bam. There we go. All right. So, uh, yeah, the banker's on a trend here. Five in a row. Keep it going. Rebet. Oh, uh, we got a new dealer. That's fine though. That's what I like about Bachrod. New dealers doesn't matter because they just leave, they just continue where the previous dealer left off. All right, we're looking good. Need something low here. Nice. We're on a great trend. Bet. Nice. I like how she just deals them out. No messing around. Quick action, nice. Rebet. Just looking for ten units. Just win ten dollars. Do that like five times a day. You can make fifty bucks a day. Playing two dollars, make a hundred bucks a day. I'll start playing two, three dollars once I get a, get past uh you know, 700 or something like that. Okay, it broke. All right, let's go to two bucks. Let's play the follow the winner here. A lot of times it usually goes back to banker, but it's a big underdog. Player is a big underdog here. So let's, let's try player. Let's follow the winner here. See what happens. You can play either way here. You can play banker here if you want. See, goes right back to. All right, let's go to five. Following the winner here. Plus, plus, when you have a long streak here, usually three out or double here. Usually, banker will win here. A lot of times, they'll go two in a row here. Three out from the long streak. Actually, this is part of the streak, so. I might be wrong here. Zero will be good here. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Actually, I misread this board because this is part of the streak here. This one here. But we got away with it. All right. So bounce is 527. We're doing pretty decent here. No eight. Eight would kill us. Right, six needs some help here. No, that's fine. All right, let's follow the winner here. Go to two. It is also the underdog, but uh, 
using a streak, you play the last three favorite, but it's been going back and forth here. Need some help here? Nope. Need a zero. Nah, that's All right, let's follow the winner here. It, yeah, this it could go any way here. It could go player banker here. This is this is the part where it gets gets tricky. Which side to play when it's really you're not sure what which way the chop is going. You got zero, four. All right, we need some a zero or an ace. To win this, oh, need some help here. Nice. All right, we'll just stay with the winner here. A lot of times with the table, this is called a table here. A lot of times it goes player here, but since banker is really dominating, we're just going to stay with banker. See, the last three favorite is one. So hopefully it's time going a trend here. Nope. Nine over eight. Yeah, see, a lot of times it goes player there. Alright, let's go to two bucks. We're just following the winner here. I should probably should still keep on banker here. This way it's going. Two one two one. Yeah, I probably should stay on the banker here. A lot of fives. Yep, see. Back to five. Oh, but it goes two in a row here. There we go. Bam. All right, we're just gonna follow the trend here. Two, one, two, one, two. Let's go see if it goes player here. Now, you could do banker here, just because banker's winning more than other. Uh, you know, you could stay on one side here, just stay on banker. I'm just following the trend here. You got one, two, one, two. Yeah, it's due for a player to win here. Nope. I'm just saying you can you play your the way there. We got a nail here, so a lot of times it goes back to banker here. So you got one, three, one. Usually it goes to banker here, normally. Ah. No, didn't do it that time. All right, let's go s stay on banker here. Banker's dominating, and is the last three hundred dog. 
if it goes uh if it does player again then you have an extended box and i'm going to stay on i'm going to stay on banker again so let's see what happens here all right need some help here zero zero and ace ah yep all right extended box let's double it let's add a couple bucks on top Ah, oh, come on. It happens. Well, I have to play the streak now. All right, 55 on player. Let's follow the streak. It's my fault for not following the, following the winner. But, you know, we'll see. See, it, it just like when you switch is when you get dead. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. All right. 120. This is where it gets really tricky here. I should be setting out. Just wait till it find out what it wants to do. I need some help. I need a five. <laughs> five or six would do. Need some help. Ah, nope. Yeah, I'm going to set out a couple. Not sure what it's going to do. Player is going a little run here. This one you got to go for it, because bankers do here. It is the underdog, but I'm not following the trend, so. Yep. Oh, there we go. Bam. Nine. Woo! That's when you when you have to when you go all for it. And when you go all in, <laughs> when you actually see the trend and stuff, and you're just like. Because sometimes when it goes bad, when it's doing the opposite of what you think, you know, so sometimes, you know, when it's won three in a row, yeah, it's just due for the banker, especially when banker has a slight advantage. So, uh, yeah, that, that's when you know sometimes you just, you just can't be scared. You just got to go for it, you know. So uh, my bounce is at 604 now. So that's how you get out of a jam. I, I, you know, I got lucky, of course. I, you know, that wasn't all skill there, but it takes an experience to know. Because I started to play player, then what I saw up here in the in the beads, the big road, some you know, with experience, I'm like, okay, I've seen it. Normally, goes banker there, and then yeah, it paid off. Because you know, if I want to risk. That kind of money chasing, I, I I'd rather go in make the make the reward worth it. And you can see, I started with uh, 520, and now you know I made 80 dollars in a, in that short session. So, anyways, I'm glad I won on this video. But I when 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 I saw player have eight, I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> it's just like I, I didn't you know, I, yeah, that was uh, whoo. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, yeah, I got more videos coming. 
yeah, click, uh, yeah, if you, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, please subscribe. And click the like button. You got to click the like button for that win there. I, yeah, I got lucky there. But, yeah, experience told me to go player, I mean banker. So, yeah, I'm glad it paid off. All right, I see, I see you guys on the next one. All right, thanks, guys.